Yo, what's going on guys? So today we are talking about a new movie for me, an older movie for most everybody else, 2014. So like three years ago it came out, we are talking about South Park. This movie just came on Netflix, so I decided why the fuck not. So your bitch decided that. Oh my god, are you serious? It's, it was just installing updates. Okay, anyway. So this movie is about a boxer, world champion, on top of the hill. Nobody can beat this dude. And then a tragedy. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. So I'm, because it just came on Netflix and you know, you might want to go watch it after you see this. So uh, anyways, uh, something really bad happens in his life and he just hits rock bottom. He loses his daughter's love. She's like somewhere like between like five and 12. I am not good with kids ages like that's not my strong suit. I can um, kind of edit videos that's kind of my strong suit but I cannot for the life of me guess kids ages. So somewhere between 5 and 12 his daughter just doesn't like him anymore and he has to come back. It's a comeback story you know having to deal with the worst thing that could possibly happen to this dude and he just you know it's a story about his comeback so it was pretty cool because it kind of mixed with sports movies because sports movies I you know I haven't seen a sports movie let alone a good sports movie in a long time so like this was kind of refreshing because it was a sports movie with a gun a better plot and I'm, I'm kind of tired of older films because I watched some uh, yeah, because like a lot some newer ones that I've been watching have been set in like the 1800s and then like some of them uh, have been like kind of like older movies 80s 90s 70s whatever and I you know I've kind of been wanting a newer movie and then so this one kind of brought the newer element to it the new you know camera angles or whatever and um, I liked it. I liked the uh, the whole story and how it mixed with sports and how it mixed with like drama or in a really good way. So the story and the things that happened in the story really hit hard. Like they weren't like no bitch out. Like they didn't bitch out. I'm trying to say with their like you know may oh maybe that's a little too much. Maybe we should kind of bring it down because that might be a little too much tragedy or whatever. They did not. They didn't. They didn't. They, there was no saying like that that went on in the writing room for this movie. Because all the things about the story that happened throughout the movie and then all like the main thing that happened in the movie they were, they were all really bad and they were all really tragic and it was really sad to see but it made for a good idea, a good plot, good story, good uh, character development, good just all around emotion. And you ask, who delivers this emotion so well? Well, you have the little girl who I don't know the name of, but she was really good. But the main two people, Rachel McAdams, Jake Gyllenhaal, I'm going to get a poster of like Jake Gyllenhaal, just like a headshot on my wall, just so it reminds me about what I want to be like when I'm older. Not like an actor, if I, if that so happens, then maybe I would do it, but um, just like, he, said, he seems like, you know, the GOAT, you know, like, um, not like the GOAT greatest of all time, just seems like he has his shit together, don't really hear drama about him, him and his sister got, you know, shit rocking, they have Hollywood kind of held down, and you know, like, whenever you see him, you're like, oh, this bitch, and you're like, yeah, he's pretty cool, so I'm like, that's me, like, I want to be you, anyway, uh, Rachel McAdams and Jake Gyllenhaal both did a very wonderful job in this film, I just, I cannot get over praising them, they delivered all the emotions that were necessary for the story, everything that was needed, they, they, they adapted to, and it was very, very good to see their performances. Just as a, like, little side note, like, I don't know why the fuck I wrote it down, anyway, um, the cinematography was kind of, like, cool for what I was expecting. Uh, a movie not to have like really cool cinematography. I was kind of expecting it just you know like to be normal But you know, um, it kind of hit me like when they were showing the boxing match I was like if TV was like this like if sporting matches were like that It would be so much cooler to watch like boxing like you know I'll watch it, but it's like kind of it kind of gets boring because these dudes get a uh, really uh Yes, I would like to share Mac analysis with Apple. It kind of gets really boring because the guys get tired a lot. What? Yeah, share iCloud. I don't fuck. like they get tired and they kind of go winded and everything. But it's like one or two like specific camera angles for these uh, you know fights on like pay per view. But like this movie, it like had you know obviously movie shots and they were different. I was like, it would be really cool if we can get close ups and listen ins of like the actual boxers and what they're saying and like you know different angles. I thought that was just really cool. Maybe it wasn't like like grade A cinematography or whatever, but it was just like really cool to see a boxing match from a different perspective, and just some other shots that kind of caught my eye, and I was like, oh, no, not not you know not that bad. And it turns out that I have already seen three of the uh, this director's movies. I've seen uh, Olympus Has Fallen, 
um, the Equalizer, and then the most recent one was the Magnificent Seven. And once I read about that, I was like, that makes total sense. If you guys have seen any one of those movies, mostly I would say the Magnificent Seven, uh, just minus humor from that, and then kind of bring it into a normal setting, and kind of, you get that vibe from it. You totally get the vibe from that, and the Equalizer, and the Equalizer, maybe I should say the Equalizer more, uh, fits this movie, because it's kind of a loner situation, and a uh, daughter, because like Chloe Moretz was like, uh, uh, Denzel Washington's daughter in that movie in The Equalizer, so maybe it was kind of like that more, but anyway, um, the director, he did a really good job, I looked into his stuff, like I said, I looked into what people said about the director, and everybody seems to have good shit to say about him, so it's like, bravo to you for being able to handle, like, like, really good actors like that, like, directors who can put actors in a scenario that they can use their talents to, like, that's like, thumbs up for me. And like I said earlier, I kind of just wanted to touch on this a little bit more. Um, the sports movie genre is just like not something that is like well represented in Hollywood. You don't get these really cool movies. You don't like, you know, they're not just something that stand out. And in this movie, even though it's not basketball, football, whatever, like typical sports sports, you know, um, it, it, it really did set itself aside from the other ones I've seen just a long time ago. Like uh, that one with Sandra Bullock about... The, uh, what was that called? That one kid in football? I don't know. Uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know. I just haven't seen a good sports movie in a while. I was, it was kind of refreshing to see it. And I, I thought that was really cool to see them blend uh, sports with the drama aspect. And he did that very well, the director. All in all, it was a good comeback story. That's all I can really say about it. And that's all it really was. It was a really good comeback story. And I would recommend it. I'm... You know, I'm not going to say I don't recommend it because I do recommend it. If you have, like, two hours to spare, like, give it a go because it's on Netflix and it's a really good movie and Jake Gyllenhaal should be everybody's idol in the world. So if you have not seen it, definitely go see it. If you have seen it, let me know what you guys thought about it because, yeah, I want to get some more opinions. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, goodbye.